Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Blue Lock is quite a famous manga with over 10 million copies in circulation as of August 2022. And with Japan making some recent moves in the World Cup and the recent anime adaptation, the manga has never done better. But what made this manga such an incredible success? I'm gonna be talking about it today. Before we get started, I'm Brandon Chen. I'm an author of novels, manga, webtoons, video games, and I make videos on the internet like this one. Basically, I make anime stories for a living. So actually, I'm in the same industry as the Blue Lock mangaka. Anyway, so smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe because you love me and you want more of me. And now let's get into the video. So most sports manga follow a character who wants to become better or become the best at their relative sport. That's the same for Blue Lock, except this story flips its genre on its head. Most sports manga fall into these sports, action, and slice of life categories. Haikyuu, Prince of Tennis, Kuroko no Basket, Slam Dunk, these are some examples. But what Blue Lock does differently is that it switches out the slice of life aspect, because there's not that much slice of life in Blue Lock, and it replaces that genre with the death game genre. Something that you rarely see in sports manga, if ever. So typically when you go to a publisher, you go to them with a logline. A logline is essentially a sentence that is meant to sell your project and summarize it just in, in one go. Now most sports manga are gonna be about a character trying to overcome some kind of weakness as they try to become the best at their sport. And typically that weakness is the twist that makes the series stand out relative to its competitors. For example, Kuroko no Basket is about a kid who it's not really noticeable. He can only pass the ball. He's playing basketball, so that's kind of weird because he can't shoot, right? Haikyuu has a main character that's really short, but he wants to become the ace, which means that he has to be able to spike the ball, right? Which is kind of a disadvantage if you're short. He also has no technical volleyball uh, capabilities, but you know, he's very gutsy and has very powerful jumping skills. So that's kind of the twist. Now, Blue Locks Mangaka does have a special ability. He has spatial awareness, which is what makes the main character Isagi stand out. That's not really what the series is about the series is actually about Isagi the main character trying to survive and rise to the top in a facility where soccer players are eliminated based on their performance only those with the largest egos and best ability are going to go on to become the world's best soccer players now blue Lux's story follows a character who is training in a death game soccer facility sounds kind of weird to say it out loud and he's forcing himself to become the best because if he's not the best, then his entire soccer career is over. So that's actually a pretty interesting premise. It's not like other soccer series where a loss is not the end of the world. In Blue Lock, if you lose and you get kicked out of the facility, your soccer career is over forever, which is you know equivalent to being killed off in like a normal series. So here's what I think makes Blue Lock stand out. One, the concept. It has that very powerful logline that we talked about that is unlike many other sports manga or anime because it has this whole new layer of a death game which hasn't been done um, at this scale. Now two, the characters. There's so many of them and they're also egotistical. This type of manga typically resonates with a lot of shonen readers, which is the demographic for this series, where shonen readers typically like badass and cold characters, right? You're reading like soul leveling, you're reading like Jujutsu Kaisen and everyone's always like, dude, that character's so cold. And they love that. Anyway, Blue Lock definitely has that vibe. Now three, the art. Blue Lock has some of the most dynamic paneling I've ever seen in the game. The poses, so dynamic. They're extremely difficult to draw. The art style itself is also very attractive for shonen readers. It's kind of a mixture of badass and good looking characters. But the hardest thing is that this artist is able to convey very intense action from very sharp and distinct angles. Super hard to do, you don't see it a lot. With powerful angles, poses, characters, the Blue Lock mangaka is able to exaggerate scenes and make soccer seem like it's a very supernatural and dramatic event, which is very exciting to read for readers. So now we're gonna move on to four, which I think that the stakes of Blue Lock are way higher than any other sports manga out there. They're putting their entire soccer career on the line. So if the characters lose and get kicked out of the facility, they are quite literally equivalent to getting killed off because they are not able to play soccer for the rest of their life unless they move to another country. That's literally how it is or they have to find a new sport to play i think that these higher stakes really get readers at the edge of their seat because you know that once a player is out of the facility you're not seeing them again they're not coming back to the series whereas other series like haiku prince of tennis they can always have another rematch which actually does happen a lot of the times other than the story the art and the innovative concept what makes blue lock so exciting i would say it's the general attitude of the series most sports manga are really uplifting and energetic and blue lock isn't necessarily exempt from that however the 
characters are so egotistical and they're so about themselves. So much so that they often say things in the manga to put down each other. It's so competitive that there's literally panels like this and you're wondering like, wait, the main character literally just said that to like another human being? Like that's kind of mean. And it's quite insane how mean these characters are on to each other on the field. That's also what makes it stand out as a series. The absolute arrogance, hubristic nature, and ego of these characters makes certain readers, particularly shonen ones like I said, absolutely enjoy these physical and emotional slash psychological beatdowns that these characters are giving each other. Now because Blue Lock has so many distinct characteristics like I I just mentioned in a world where stories and content are so common there's so much isekai there's so much content being pumped out in the world blue lock has managed to build its own brand and stand out in a very successful way and it feels so much more different than any other sports series out there and that's why i think it's successful anyway the blue lock manga definitely knew what they were doing with the series the concept's innovative it's the most popular sport in the world football and now with japan in the world cup the blue lock manga's sales are about to go crazy if you didn't know they actually literally collaborated with japan for the world's cup uniform as well it's quite impressive anyway that is why blue locks mangaka has gone on to create such an incredible manga it's a major inspiration for a lot of my projects including god game which is one of my series very heavily inspired by blue lock actually now you can check out any series that i've created myself in the description a read always helps out and i want to thank you guys for watching this week's video hopefully you enjoyed it comment which manga you want me to analyze next and i'm going to catch you guys on next week's video Bye-bye. Peace. Subscribe.